Do you want to cook on a cast iron grill? Yep, you can see right there in that middle piece. But there's some great grill mounts. Welcome back to Teach Man to Fish channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing for you a review of a new cast iron grill. So this grill is absolutely made in China. It's listed as Giantex. I bought this grill to show you how it compares to the Lodge Sportsman's Grill, and I was curious how it would match up being a Chinese, essentially knockoff, but it is a different format versus the Lodge Sportsman cast iron hibachi. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below if you're interested in purchasing this. So I know many of you that watch the channel, you've watched me with the Lodge Sportsman's Grill and I am loyal to Lodge Sportsman's Grill. But I'll tell you this, there's been a problem that's developed and it actually comes about every winter. I'm not gonna say it's a COVID-19 issue, but for whatever reason, during the winter months, Lodge stops making the Sportsman's Grill. And then we spend the rest of the winter of listening to people scrounging around to try and find them. Well, I found somebody who's taking advantage of this lull in their production cycle, and I bought one of the grills, and I'm gonna get a look at that and see whether or not this cast iron hibachi is worthy competition to the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Let's go ahead and get started. So we ordered this from Amazon. It did just arrive comes packaged in a box like this, and on the box it says Costway, www.costway.com. So that must be who's distributing it here in the United States. Very well designed box. It does come disassembled, just like the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. Something to notice right away is the square grill grates versus the Lodge Oval. And that actually intrigues me because it's it's that's actually a more traditional way to cook. And we'll see how the fire interacts with that. Cast iron is cast iron. So I'm really, I think it's going to perform as far as the, the cast iron part of it, just as well as the Lodge will or any other cast iron hibachi. What I'm most curious about is fire management, uh, dead spots, because Again, if you've used the Lodge Sportsman's Grill or watched any of my videos, you'll see that there are some dead spots on this side of the grill, very far away from the air uptake. It's not really a bad thing in the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. It's just a thing. So I'm curious to see how that's going to react. They also, I'm gonna come around and show you this. If you look closely at this finish, they spent some time grinding this down. Uh, it feels like there's a little bit of a wax on it. So that's going to have to be burned off as a part of the seasoning process. And it is bare metal in there. This grill is going to take a little bit of seasoning when we first start it up. I'll spray it down with some canola oil, just like I do at the lodge. Almost all of this is going to be, you're going to hear me say this, just like the lodge. It's a cast iron hibachi. The difference between lodge and this right now is this is a, obtainable and a lodge sportsman's grill is almost made of unobtainium metal. They even copied the three foot stance that Lodge did. And you know, it does come with instructions, but I'm a typical guy. I'm not opening up any instructions. <laughs> of dings and dents in the casting for the coal grate but it doesn't really matter that coal grate is gonna get fricasseed anyhow you've got the reversible function to where you can have the grill grate either face down or up on the legs thus you can control how close you get to the coals I do like this little uh, spring handler for the door the, the coal insertion door all right, let's look at some of the, the major differences. Some of them are readily apparent. Seems like almost everything is about a third of the size. If you look at grill surface, you're missing about a third of the grill surface. Obviously, square versus oval. Pretty much what you're losing 
is these two oval ends. So you're probably losing somewhere about 10 square inches, maybe eight by losing those oval ends. Your coal area, oddly enough, about a third of the size too. So let's just say you're getting about a third less in size. They do give you this filling door opener that is spring design. Lodge only has the, the tab here for you to grab. Big difference, huge difference. The handles. There is no bail for lifting this hibachi. It's, your hands go in here. Now, we could drill something and put something in there if we wanted to start talking about mods for this. I'll tell you, the, the Lodge bail, it, it kind of gets in the way. I won't miss not having the bail. I've actually, when lifting the Lodge, if you pick it, up, pick it up in this format, the Lodge will tip over on you. I've actually broken a grill top on this because this fell off and cracked. So the only time you really use this is when it's cooled down. It gets kind of kind of gross. I'm I'm not sure I'm gonna miss the bail, but there'll probably be some some time spent figuring out if that one or not. I'm real curious to see with this smaller damper, so much smaller than the the lodge, whether or not we'll get the same degree of fire control. The draft door is is about a, a half the size, so we'll see how that interacts. All right. Let's head over and go ahead and start to season this. We're gonna let those coals heat up and let that wax burn off of that grill grate. Tell you something else that I just thought of. I do like this little hook that's here because you can use it it's ready and handy i have burned myself on the draft door a couple of times on the lodge oh actually ha, it's designed to do it discovered something new there but i can envision this getting lost pretty easy i'm gonna have to keep track of that there's definitely a wax protecting the, that barrel of cast iron. So that will all have to be burned off. We're gonna speed this process up a little bit. Now we're getting somewhere, you can see that starting to season. I was eyeballing the width on these grates this is a nice feature. Most of your grills come with a grill grate key and the key actually works on this. That's, that's a pretty nice feature to have. I'm already starting to notice that there is a heat pattern on this as well, right here in the center. You can see where that metal is tempering and the, the seasoning is settling in. So it has cold spots in all four corners, just like the lodge. But I like this, so I wanna add some more coals in there to heat this thing up a little further. Can't do that with the lodge easily. Do this in a really simple cook simple steak it's just going to be salt pepper and a little bit of rosemary garlic butter basting right at the very tail end of the cook
I can tell you space is definitely a premium on this grill if you're used to the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. But if you're cooking for a smaller family, this may be adequate for you. Definitely keeping a close eye on that garlic. It is certainly, the skillet is hotter on this side. We gotta make sure that garlic doesn't burn. I'll pull it off if I need to. I can already see that it's heating up very heavily in th here through the center. So I'm gonna do a 180 flip. Yep, you can see right there in that middle piece. But those are some great grill marks. That's definitely an advantage with this Amazon cast iron hibachi. It's kind of tough to get grill marks on the Lodge Sportsman's Grill. This is a little tip and trick that I've picked up and learned, especially during this, it's January right now, so it's a little cold. I've got these set up as shields that can reflect some of the heat back into that grill. I have very little negatives to say about this grill so far. I mean, let's face it, it's a cast iron hibachi. What could really go wrong? There are advantages to the small size of this, and I'd, honestly, the biggest disadvantage that I find is it's not Lodge. I'm partial to Lodge products. It's actually Lodge that made the mistake and left this opening in the market. Some other advantage that I found with the size, the smaller size of this grill, it absolutely is more portable. That's a huge benefit, and I would say even makes it worthwhile to have both the Lodge and this grill. You'll have this one ready to go mobile. The Lodge Sportsman's Grill can be a bit heavy and bulky. YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits. This is my latest upload, and over here is a Lodge Sportsman's Grill and other Hibachi Cast Iron Grill cooking. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.